sister's journey. You see, when you talk about forgiving, people don't understand this. There is, I always say to people, it is so painful when you are hurt by your brother and your sister in the house of God. Someone you trust. Someone you know that he or she, she was supposed to pray for you. Or someone you think that when things go wrong in your path, they will be there for you. That's the painful thing. You know, physical abuse is something else. But spiritual abuse yes. is dangerous. Yes. You know, I, I'm coming from the background of this woman who used to be so quiet, hide behind my husband's gift, and not coming up. Because he's very, very talented, he's anointed, so I was hiding. So people were taking advantage of me and stepping on me. And you know, the problem is, that's why I've got such a passion for the pastor's wives to come up and step up. Yes. Because if you don't take your position, mm -hmm. someone else will close the gap for you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We are not angels. Mm -hmm. Even though we are married by a man of God, we are not angels. Mm -hmm. We do have mistakes. Yes. yes, that's right. When we go home, we do have little fights. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you are not joined together with your husband, these things or the church members can make you to separate, can make you not to be one thing. And then that's when your insecurities comes in. And then you feel like you are not loved. I come from that position where I used to think my husband doesn't like me, where I think, oh, he's entertaining all these women in church. He's taking all whatever they're saying. But what about me? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not loved. And at the end of the day, it brings problems into our marital problem. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It causes, it starts as a small thing and it becomes a big thing. I'm one of the women who came like in bitterness. I used to have that bitterness up until I had to come up. And I remember one day, I'm not shy. This is something that you have to unveil it. Women of God, stand up. Take your positions. You know, I remember I had a marital problems, and uh, I told myself, I'm going to divorce. But I remember one day I was sleeping on my bed, and I remember one of the vows that I made, till death do us part. I remember I was a joke of the day. I was a joke of all women out there. They said, how can you allow this to happen in your house? Your husband has just done something big, something great. And I said, but where were you when I made that vow? Till death do us part. I had to learn the art of forgiving. You know, when you have to forgive up until you make a decision where you are just by yourself and the world is laughing at you. Even people that you thought they will be there for you and they go around and gossip about you. It's a painful thing. It is a painful thing where your pillow only can understand the tears that you are sharing. You know, I am trying to be real. I'm taking this thing out of my heart mm -hmm. so that people can understand yes. that being a woman of God, when you are called to be there to stand on the gap, it's not a child's play. Mm -hmm. It's not about a position. Mm -hmm. It's what God has called you for. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Today as I'm talking, I'm counseling so many women of God there yes. because I was real. I walked it. You know, sometimes to forgive people who have hurt you, it's not simple. Mm -hmm. I remember this word came to me in Luke 6, verse 37. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Mm -hmm. Condemn not, 
and you shall not be condemned. Mm -hmm. Forgive, and you'll be forgiven. Mm -hmm. And I remember that, you know, to forgive, it's a gift from God. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to let go. Yes. More especially us, as women of God, we build relationship in the house of God. Mm -hmm. There are people that become so close to you. Mm -hmm. And when you build relationship with them, when they hurt you, when you have to forgive them, mm -hmm. when you have to let go, it's not easy. It is not easy. You know, you know, you know, deep down in your heart, they have hurt you. Yes. They've caused damage in your heart, mm -hmm. in your life. But there is that thing that keep on resisting in you to let go. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, to forgive mm -hmm. is such a powerful tool. Jesus. It is more important than the Panadol that we take when we are yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Forgiveness is the best medication that you can give healing to your body. Yes. It heals you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Yes. You know, you walk like a free woman, yes. knowing that I don't hide anything because I know I've forgiven. Yes. You walk free, you walk tall. Yes. You get in a store even when you greet, you say hallelujah, mm. because you flow. Yes. Yes. Inside of you, you know, I have forgiven. Yes. Even your husband, yes. when you say, darling, yes. I've forgiven you. Mm -hmm. I am not perfect. Who am I to judge you? Mm. And you know, even you are even creating a good testimony to your own kids. Yes. yes. Tomorrow you are a living. Mm -hmm. You know what? To be a living testimony? To be a living yes. testimony. Yes. Mm -hmm. To be real. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not a fake. I'm not talking about things that are fake. Right. I'm talking about really walking tall yes. with a clean yes. Clean, Hallelujah. pure heart. Amen. 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 Amen.